Good day, February 28th, <clears throat> 2022. Uh, I got to talk to Darren and Johnny Zach today. Johnny, of course, is Darren's dad. And uh, so I just want to, it's some of the roots of where Darren came from. His, uh, his grandfather, Vincent Zach, he played a lot of ball. And there was baseball back in the day. And and uh, so Johnny was explaining to us, like, a lot of the little communities in the area, Garden River, um, they play against people from uh, Sugar Island, they play down the line, Echo Bay. Uh, the league <coughs> finally got to the point that it was uh, down the Blind River and a couple of teams out of there, a couple of team out of Mississauga and stuff. And also some of the... Uh, just the names of people that played uh, is neat because it, it's John's uh, given us a great uh, background. And what's kind of funny is we're at Johnny's in the morning and I did the, uh, oh, geez, you guys want to sit in on an interview? And so Johnny says, well, geez, I don't know if I have anything to talk about. So we said, well, we'll just talk about ball, just you know, have a good time, talk about uh, the good old days. And uh, he talked for two and a half hours straight for a guy that didn't have anything to talk about. So we're going to try this over a couple of days uh, to, uh, to talk to people. Anyways, have a listen, enjoy, and uh, there'll be more soon. Thank you. Doc of a pathway. I played with Doc. Doc. Doc caught me. Wasn't he the first one to catch me? Doc, I don't know. Then Jimmy? Jim Mullin. That uh, the Christmas Doc. lunatic. Doc, their hook to get him the hell out. You're going to kill one of them. <laughs> We're up at Blue, blue that. Blueberry Flats. Hit my seventh guy. Get him out of there, you're going to kill something. <laughs> Remember the uh, Johnny Turner's sister when she was umping? That's what she came in and Elaine. told. Is that her name? I think so. She came in and told Rick, get somebody back there that I can catch. I'm going to get killed. <laughs> they used to be... Uh, Echo Bay, the Braves, Batchwana, and Gooley Bay. And then they expanded the league. They put Tussle in an Iron Bridge. And after Iron Bridge come Mississauga Warriors and Mississauga Blind River Old Timers, Blind River Rough Riders. Yeah, it was a good league. We started to get really better then. Well, yeah, the more you play, eh? Then we had one game against uh, Cutler. Yeah. Your dad was playing third base. There's a little bit of gravel wrong by third base. You just couldn't reach for the ball, the ball came up and bah, hit him right straight, the goddamn knocked him out. Wow. Down he went on one knee. Oh, his blood just come right out. He didn't play the rest of the game. Christ, he lipped with <laughs> What a ball, come up, eh? Slides like those now on display at the Houdini Museum of New York. The spirit slides were very All them guys from cut them all old timers. Days, like days. The Bubblegum Jacobs. Bubblegum Jacobs. Bubblegum Jacobs. Joe Day, Alec Day, Bob Day. Today. Herbie Lewis. <laughs> oh, I'm trying to remember all the guys in the It serves as a reminder of the great illusionist's most spirited crusade. Showing now. Showing now. How do I shut the TV up? It's okay. a surprise that a state now. Name Ernie Showing now. That is. He was married to Donald Pine's daughter. Oh. Yeah. Ernie Showing now. Yeah. That was a good league after everything got going. Howard Stevens pitched up there from uh, 
Gooley Bay. All right. And uh, what the hell is that? Reverend, he just died. He almost lived 100 years old. What the hell? Is <laughs> what the hell was the name? Ah, shit, I seen him crazy entirely a couple of times. Every time he seen me, we start talking ball. Oh, shit, what the hell is the name again? It's going to come to you in the middle of the night. Heinz? Hey. Heinz? From here? No. Oh. The pitcher? Right. No, he's from Batchewana. Oh, okay. He was a preacher. He was... That was them guys at Grandpa, too. What the hell did they name the Beaver Boys there? What? Oh. Danny and Brucey. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh... Oh, the guy's a fisherman. Yeah. Oh, he's uh, Jimmy Coolis's wife's dad. Oh, yeah. He was that grumpy guy that made us get off the fence when we were sitting on the, uh, uh, not the fence, but the uh, top of the seats at the uh, ball field, like in the dugout. We were sitting up there, and he got mad at us for sitting up there. Um, oh, shit. I can see a picture of him. I see a picture of him against his truck, and I can't see the writing on the truck. I played against uh, Vince Agua, dad, to Howard. Howard Agua. Huh. He's pretty good. He's a pretty good little boy. He's small like Vince. He, they drowned it out in Lake Superior. Fishing, eh? Mm -hmm. huh. Yeah. But they met lawyer and rank in the... Uh, Tagoosh. And then there's T Arena. T Arena? No, no, no. The other guy. The, um. Hmm. Tony works for him yet. The Nick Tarina. Nick T Arena? Nick Tarina's boy. Jesus, I keep always thinking of that guy's name, I can't think of it. When, when did you start playing fastball, John? Like, when was fastball? Me, when I started playing fastball, oh shit. Ojibwe Park just opened your dad and uh, Duke put it in fastball because they don't know baseball. What year was that? Hey? What year was I'm that? I'm trying to think. Oh. <laughs> this guy asked me, you uh, uh, maybe about... Uh, 1960, but I'm just guessing. He said, we're going to put it in the fastball team. Stan will not come and see me. He says, we're going to put it in the fast like fastball, softball. I said, of course, we got no pitcher. What the hell are we going to get? I said, well, put us in the team as long as we play ball. He went and bought a whole bunch of red sweaters and it said to Ojibwe Park on it. So we all went over to the ball field and threw a big ball run. We always played baseball. Right. Yeah. So we played a couple of days there. Well, the first pitcher we had was uh, Scotty McLean, a lefty. Geez, he had a lot of stuff on the ball. Holy hmm. shit. He almost killed Blaine Bellow behind him. <laughs> <laughs> you could guys think, whoosh, poof, oh. <laughs> Holy shit. But he was a good pitcher. We I think we won one game and lost about the other twenty five, I don't know. But he was good good check of me having no no catcher. I think <coughs> nineteen uh, I don't know what time Ojibwe Park opened, nineteen sixty two, sixty three, something like that. Hmm. 64? Yeah, something like that. But I remember one time, I was 12, 13 years old. Smitty lived right there. Oh, Dick Pine come up to him and, uh, him and Dan, my father-in-law. They come up to come on to Smitty's tonight. I got a whole bunch of stuff. He had about three bags, bats, Gloves and balls. He got them all down in Ottawa someplace. 
for us to play ball, eh? Right because the Bla Braves were still playing while we're baseball. And so they said, there's enough guys for another team, so that's why I went with these guys here. Hmm. Yeah? Smitty and Rita and Stan, they started, they started that team. Yeah. Did Smitty play ball too? Boy, he played second base. Must have been good. Him and, him and Tom. Tom was a little bit better, but Tom was a switch hitter. He left hand, right hand. He was a good ball player. Short stop, third base, first base. Joe, we had a <laughs> we had an exhibition game with Lock City Beverages. Marty Pavlich and all them guys and played in the NHL and Mike Zook, Walter Zook. Joe wanted the ball. Joe, Ronnie said, geez, I hope okay. Johnny had more stuff, eh? <laughs> Second frickin' pitch. Frickin' ball hit by Bill Jones' is right where the culvert is, eh? Pa! Right across the road. Looked like a golf ball going up. <laughs> Rice, did he ever hit it? Pa! Yeah. Give me the ball. Yeah. <laughs> Give me the ball. Rice, he hit it. You could just say whack. That's the way baseball sounds, eh? Yeah. Whack. I just looked at pole. The shit went right out. Hit. Bang. Right in Norman Jones' seal. But I can remember way the hell back. All the guys that your grandpa played ball. Uh, Jack Corbier. Archie Pine. Donald Pine. Ernie. Ernie Jones. Wilford Day. Okay. Yeah. Isidore Barry. Uh, who else? Old Dan Jones was the manager. Old Dan. Hmm. Yeah. Did you guys, you must have played against Sugar Island. Guys That's, too. oh yeah, you played against the Islanders, against uh, John Kearns, Chuck Kearns, uh, Herbie Lewis, uh, Oh shit, there's a lot of guys. I can't remember. Huh. Every time they played over there, I knew where the ball field was right there. They'd sell beer, but they couldn't have it over here because okay. that was in the 50s. Okay, yeah. They had great big coolers of beer. Holy Christ, after the ball field, after the game was over, everybody stayed there right till dark and they couldn't come home right away because the Mounties were watching for them. <laughs> they have to stay there. Oh, there were some core beers there too. Yeah, right across the river. Yeah, there was, right, uh, right across there, yeah. Well, you remember Gordy, right? Gordy the Fiddler. Gordy, the fiddler yeah, yeah, I remember him. And, and then his family, he's got three or four brothers. Yeah. And uh, Chicky was their mom. And she was a nice lady, I remember her. She'd look out for the canteen, run everything right there. Hmm. Them guys were pretty good ball players. Them Kearns, Chuck Kearns, John Kearns, Kenny Sebastian. Kenny Sebastian. He was good ball player too. Yeah, but I can't remember all of them. Lyle Lewis, Delphus Lewis. Uh, some guys came from up around here. The other end of the Bell's, island. Bell's Point up that way. Yeah. They come down here and play. They had a good team. The Islanders were called, eh? That's when Echo Bay come in the league, too. How many teams you have? Well, we had the two here. Then uh, the Islanders. Two up in Batch 1 and one Gooley Bay. Five, I think. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. But then... And Teflon came in. Then after Teflon came in, Iron Bridge came in. They had a good team. Then Mississauga, Blind River, two teams from Blind River. Then we had to split up the West Division, the East Division. Eh? Yeah. Who was pitching for you guys? Hey? Who was pitching for you guys? Earl Gray and George Pine. Okay. They chewed, they chewed pretty 
pretty half decent. They 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 didn't they didn't get killed. They they George had some good stuff on the ball. George. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was going Give him that old dark one, Georgie baby. <laughs> Pow! Four hundred feet right in George up to <laughs> Smitty would tease me. <laughs> Smitty was a bugger to tease. <laughs> Give him that old dark one, George. <laughs> he paid an Indian that made him sound funny. <laughs> yeah. And every, I remember I was about 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. I played five years with these guys. Cutter would come up every first of July or we'd go down there. Yeah. Hmm. One week before the first of July come, they'd be, they'd get off the train up here at the, used to be a little station there. Right across from the church? Right across from uh, Gerald's is there. Yeah, okay. This will be a little station there. That's where it all got off. Got a whole bunch of natives there for about a week before the ball game started. <laughs> Everybody walked. I said, who's all them people? Did they come from uh, Cutler? Well, the train goes right by Cutler. Yeah. Yeah. And Bubblegum Jacobs. That's Gail's Bubblegum Jacobs. Mike Jacobs. Yeah. yeah. Remember him, he's blowing on the mound. He's always smiling like that. He's going down look at blowing a bubble puff right in his face. <laughs> time! <laughs> time! <laughs> Took all the gum off and he had some more. Bang! Yeah, he's a pretty good guy. Yeah. <laughs> Joe Day was the old guy. He had a beak on his cap about that long. <laughs> he looked like the Indian on there. And he nickel it. He had a great big nose. <laughs> Looked like his cap. <laughs> and he was a lefty. Oh yeah. You couldn't hit that son of a bitch. Hmm. He'd stay. He was wind up like this, sure. Eh? Look at you like that, and then, crazy. Throw a great big sweeping curve. All the time he throw the same way. He go straight and drop down. The guys couldn't hit him for a while, eh? Yeah. They come up here and they beat the hell out of the Ojibwe's, 28-1. Wow. But then they went down there and beat them with 21, 21 to 2 or something. Yeah. Yeah. That's when the different guys there before I started playing. The real old guys. Yeah, the real guys. The real native guys. <laughs> <laughs> I can remember. I can remember, barely, I must have been about six, seven years old. I mean, about eight, I don't know. I was always on the ball field, coaxed by that. Dad, I want to go up there, I want to go up there. I'd never been uptown before to watch a ball game. The Jib boys were up the that old Dan Jones was the manager. And uh, Norman was the assistant manager, Norman Jones. We went up there and Freddie Josh was pitching from Cutler. Freddie Josh, Rudy Josh, Jimmy Josh from uh, uh, Deborah. Uh, Bruce Vines, they're both good then. Jack Reynolds from Echo Bay. So they played up there and uh, nothing, 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 nothing all the way through. Freddie Josh was pitching. They couldn't, they couldn't. <laughs> then he got hit. He got hit in two line drives that are on base. One guy bunted the ball and the guy come in. So then my dad was the catcher. So the old Dan Jones swallowed him was ever mad, Freddie ever mad. Holy Christ, he was kicking the everything. So anyway, my dad was a good damn good pitcher too, real good. He had a lot of junk on the ball, good stuff on the ball, eh? He shut them out there for the next three innings. Archie Pine come up and hit a home one with one on. Huh. Straight away the ball field was this way though. North Street. Okay. Wasn't like this. Yeah. Huh. A whack! Bang! That's the only hit Archie got to on the whole time. <laughs> but by the Christ did he ever hit it, they hit it right over the frickin' top and bang right down the street. 
And they won the they won the the championship city championship, hmm. and my dad got that Gillette uh, little trophy like MVP. It says on. I didn't know what MVP stood for. I just little trophy like that. Eh? Vincent Zach. Yeah. Huh. Does anybody still have that trophy, or is it? It when that big house when that burnt down. That's where oh. it went. Okay. And there was a great big stack of pictures, and they're all ball pickers. And my dad played ball with Ernie Jones and Wilfred Day, Isdor Berry, all of them. The Ernie Jones, did he have a son, Ernie? Young Ernie. Yeah, a pitcher. And he pitched, eh? Yeah. yeah. He played pitched. with him. Okay. Yeah. He pitched good. He was getting good, and he left here. When else did he 